your love is kind. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome to my channel. So um <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm about to cast news or something? I'm about to read the news to you guys. <laughs> Looking all professional or whatever. Anyways, um, so today I have this really easy, sultry look going on here. I tried to recreate a look I did a few days back and I did not record that look unfortunately. And so quite a few people were asking me to do a tutorial on how I achieved the look. So it's pretty much exactly the same thing. The only thing I changed was the eyes. I added a little bit of spice, you know, giving you guys a little bit of wing action right here <laughs> um, so yeah so um this is pretty much the recreation of that look and i have this sleek back ponytail situation going on here it's just um this ponytail i got from um uh, one of these websites i'm gonna leave the link down in the description box under ten dollars guys it is like it is like 30 inches long or something like i'm in love <laughs> I'm in love with this ponytail. I am obsessed with this ponytail actually. Like I'm a whole new person with this whole pullback thing. I am so loving this. I have a very detailed video on how to achieve um a slick back bun, especially for short hair. So I will leave the link down in the description box and also at the end of the video i only changed a few things with that it's actually pretty much the same center pattern the previous video i had used this eco style gel this is what i usually use but then this time around i added the got to be glue um ultra glued one the the black one because i i was watching a little bit of reviews before i got the other one and the, the yellow one the yellow and the gray one and i heard that that one one the hold is crazy and if you do lace closures frontals and all of that then that's the one for you but um i i really didn't want some like this is it's like rock <laughs> it's holding like rock but the main thing that is making it hold you guys is the spray so this is like the spray of the white one is the free spray and it's screaming hold on for hair screaming hold for hair like this thing guys like i was watching reviews and sometimes people even use this as opposed to the 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 got to be glued uh yellow one to hold your lace because it has the hold is crazy like you can knock my head and you, 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 my hair will just crack down but i love it it's giving me really good hold i don't have to retouch it as often as opposed to when i use just the eco styler gel so with the eco styler gel like when i when i want to sleep at night i have to kind of pretty much add a little bit more gel to hold everything together but this is so this is such a sultry look like you can vamp this up and you know play with it whatever so yeah i am i am loving this <laughs> Anyways, if you want to see how I achieve this look, please keep on watching. All right, guys. So um, I am going to use my two favorite primers for primers, <laughs> primers for the summer. My uh, Makeup Forever and my Becca. I'm putting the Makeup Forever all over my face, and I am putting the uh, Becca right on top of that in my T zone. Using my favorite foundation, I told you guys I'm going to be using this foundation all the time now. So this is the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation, SPF Skin Foundation in 10.25. I think this is a darker shade. So I'm going to use my fingers to put that and then I'm using my booty blender to, to blend, starting with the parameters of my face. Using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Chestnut, this is my favorite concealer. <laughs> it is just perfect, you guys. So I'm just gonna put that all over my face, you know. Starting from underneath my eyes, my T-zone basically, and I'm also highlighting my brows now. I, I usually highlight my brows before doing it, not after. I outline it so yeah that has really helped me a lot anyway so I'm gonna blend starting with the perimeters of that highlight and then going into that and blending I go back and forth with the place I used to blend my foundation and I blend my face with it so that you know it blends perfectly 
now using my the mixture of my s spawn and my um, Laura Mercier I'm, I put that first on my eyes because my eyes tend to crease the fastest so I put it there and you know using the damp use a damp uh, sponge guys so I'm using that same sponge of course and I'm just pressing that into my face so I'm not really so much as baking I'm not putting so much product on my face I'm pressing it into my face so you know it takes everything in and then I am going to take that um, I don't let that sit for long I just quickly contour and yeah I'm using my um, uh, Morphe 35 OM palette and I'm just taking whatever dark shades that they are just deep and dab and I contour my face with it now I'm cleaning underneath I'm um, cleaning the contour you know just to give it like a clean finish so I'm just putting some translucent powder there and I am taking that right away I'm taking that off right away with my powder brush before I go in with my NW58 powder and now I'm just gonna press that into my face and then buffer um, buffer around it so I press it in first and then I blend taking that contour brush I'm just gonna put that um, use that to clean my nose and you know just sharpen out my nose a little bit and then I go back again with the contour brush and I contour for a second time now I'm gonna use this um, uh, color pop cosmetics um, gel eyeliner I believe it's called DTLA it's blue it's like this really dark navy blue and I just put that in my waterline and I've been loving this lately now going into my Juvia's Place Nubian 2 palette I'm just gonna take this dark purple and then I'm gonna put that right underneath my eyes and I am going to create a wing with this this was like a last minute thing but I really love it so I'm just like winging it out so it's so much easier than putting a wing <laughs> you know using like a, an, an eyeliner to create a wing using a, this brush so I'm just winging it out and then I'm taking that orange and I'm putting it right underneath that I am I'm stacking it I'm I took this really precise brush and then I'm like pressing it on top of that purple and then I'm blending now I'm taking my um, Neor Maybelline Neor gel, uh, gel liner I'm just creating this really small you know not a wing I'm just lining right on top of my lash line for my lashes and now for my brows I know I hardly do my brows on camera because you know just to make the process easy but doing my brows has become a hundred times much more easier because <laughs> yeah so I'm taking my uh, my wet and wild brow pencil and I fill it in first especially I, I mostly outline it and slightly fill it in especially the beginning the beginning of my brows and then now I'm taking my ABH deep brow in ebony and I am just filling that in especially the tail end because on its own it's a little bit too brown like it's not dark enough I don't want it to be black neither do I want it to be too brown so I just take very little of that of that uh, pomade and I just you know as you guys know my brows are joining in the center I have to twist them almost every week because <laughs> I have a uni brow so that's why they are so close like that they're just naturally like that I can't do anything about it then I go into my uh, Juvia Space blush 2 palette Saharan blush 2 palette and I just use that to you know yeah, this has become like my favorite highlighter you guys like I use this all the time put that on my brow bone and in the inner corners of my eyes and I'm highlighting the rest of my face with that as well thank you for loving me you guys know the drill cheekbones forehead chin cupid's bow and all of that
so right on top of that i'm gonna put my um you know my invisible glow invisible glow my bare minerals invisible glow you guys know i love this stuff i, I pretty much use this i've been no, using pretty no. much the same products lately like because they've just been doing me good they've just been doing my face like look my face looks no, so no, flawless please, like i can't even <laughs> it looks so flawless so please i will just stay with what no, i know because please, i cannot just no, start looking for no. trouble anyhow <laughs> The other products anyway so i just With go back so into that blush palette and then i take the dark joy. blush uh, the deeper purplish blush and put that you all over and then i go in with the orange peachy blush and i put that on top <laughs> i've been loving blush lately i don't know but usually i don't used to like my blush to show but lately i'm just like please give me all of that I just go back with the highlighter brush and my contour brush again just to bring out everything and I'm gonna spray my two favorite uh, setting spray this summer first with the NYX matte finish you guys I just love these two setting sprays together they're just amazing <laughs> and they're inexpensive ah god thank you so you know spray the matte and then the dewy one on top of that very little of the dewy one though not so much so you guys know for my lashes I like to stack them I like to do like a double coat especially for my lower lash line I do a single coat for the top but a lower lash one I just do like a double you know coat and then of course my good old brow pencil is what I'm using it's the same one I use for my brows I just use the same one again for my lips and I'm just lining all over my lips using my NYX uh, intense body gloss in London this is like one of my favorite combination of like a really nice nude and yeah i really love it's just you know but with this butter gloss uh, in ten, with this what do i call it it's not butter gloss it's uh it's lip cream nyx lip cream i just leave it there let it get tacky a bit and then i blend it on my lips so now i'm putting my aliexpress lashes pretty much every lashes i use are aliexpress and you want to bring it as close to your lash line as possible this is why i put like the eyeliner even when i don't do a wing because it just helps to to let the lashes look very smooth you know we're done guys that's it so this is it guys i'm just showing you guys the face before i go and put the hair so my loves this is the finished look guys um i just added the ponytail and you know i would try and bring a, a tutorial on how to do a stick back bun like this i like i said in the beginning of the video i do have a uh, a detailed very detailed <laughs> very very detailed tutorial on how to achieve a slick back one um, and just the different products that I added to it that you can add if you want to but you know something easy and this this is under $10 it was like eight something dollars so yeah you have this look will make you look like a million dollars meaning <laughs> you are just spending under ten dollars to achieve this okay <laughs> so get you this girls get you this okay anyways i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial something very simple very sultry you know <laughs> something very simple very easy to achieve and yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you made it to the end of this video you're a real one <laughs> thank you so much for watching and yeah don't forget to leave and not exist okay put that in your head keep it as a reminder so that you will help i mean that's why i i don't actually all the time leave and not exist <laughs> but you know it's a, it's a conscious effort so leave and not exist and remain blessed guys love you bye Your love is kind Your love